What's up, y'all? So, uh, the last video I did, I deleted it because at uh, from 9.30, like, seconds, 9 minutes and 30 seconds, it started to, like, strobe, and then it, it got muted. Um, so what I did was I deleted it, I deleted it, and I'm going to re-upload it. Um, so it might be a little different at the end, but anyway, uh, in and there it is. We've got wheels, dirty wheels, but we've got wheels. Looks like I've used it outside, but I haven't, <laughs> uh, wheels. Now the ESC is in, I just soldered the, the Traxxas end on it. I just soldered that. Uh, I just put a temporary battery in so I can run it. Got my receiver in there. Um, it's all plugged in. The this has got a it's it, it, it there's a three channel um the there's a three channel transmission in here. Uh, but my receiver it's only a two three channel so I can only go to two gears, um, which is fine. Because the my other one, I only switch two gears as well. I've got high gear and I've got low, which is perfectly fine. Um, this is all done. And the last video I uploaded, uh, I, I I missed a step or I missed a video showing me putting this, like putting this piece together. So anyway, you'll see it in the last video. I start with, hey, it's you know it's together and it's on, blah blah. Um, now I got to put the bumper on, front and rear, um, which shows right here in this step. Now these license plate tabs, I'm unsure if I want to cut them off or leave them on, cut them off and just put the license plate on the side here or in the middle or something. I, mean, I haven't made a decision yet. When I put it on, then I'll see. What I'm also going to do... The cab overs, the, the cab tilts. So I'm going to make this cab tilt instead of screwing it into these spots on each side to hold it down because you'd have to unscrew it to access the battery and then, you know, screw it all back together. It's a pain. So what I'm going to do is actually just uh, put a hinge on the front here and I'm going to make it hinge forward and backwards. That way I can access the battery much easier. I will be putting lights at some point, uh, but right now I'm just trying to get it all done. But we're going to give you a little video. There's our steering, and there's our drive under its own power. Pretty cool. All right. Okay. Bumpers are on. Looks good. I've got my own plate I'm going to put on the back of there. Um, the front one is, I'm still unsure about. It's on, but I don't really like how that sticks down. I'll see when the cab is on, see what it looks like. But I'm not really liking it. Anyway. Alright, so now I'm at the cab. Um... Bumpers are on, the lights are in. I'm at the cab and I can't really put that together yet because I have to paint it. There's a few other things I can do. Like I can I can put the mirrors together and get them ready. Um, not put them on, but I can get them ready and get all these uh, rails or the the handles and I'll, I'll get all the stuff put on them, like the nuts. So that way I know where they all are. Um, the lights, I'll get the little lights pushed into them. Um, here's all the little lights and stuff. Uh, I can put the stacks together. Uh, I still have to paint this. Um, yeah. I still have to paint a lot, so... I can put the, the grill together too. So I'm going to do all that stuff and then I'll I'll show you. But uh, yeah, there it is again. It's only fitting while I'm working on other stuff here. 
you know, put the truck in the shop. You know, get my boys to hang out with it, take care of it, do some greasing and all that fun junk. All right. That's tedious work. Um, I put these little screws and little nuts. I'm sorry, little nuts, two on each because you got to put one on for the end, and then when it goes through the body, you got to tighten it up with the back one. So what I did was I just got them all ready. I got the mirrors done. They're glued in. Um, you can adjust them. There is movement on the back. You can adjust them in and out. Um, now I'm going to go on the lights. Um, these lights. Like the side marker lights and stuff. Come here, lights. Oh my goodness, there's so much. So many things on my desk. Ah. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go... These are the roof lights. There's another set. Um, there's the air horns. And these are your side marker lights. We're going to go on to those once I flip the page. And I failed to mention as well, um, what music? You know, I listen to a lot of music, you know, while I'm doing builds and stuff, right? So this evening, I'm listening to Ella Fitzgerald. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Ella Fitzgerald is. You know, singer of the uh, the big band era. You know, like uh, Frank Sinatra and all those guys. That's the big band era. Um, so tonight I'm listening to, to Ella. Which is very good. There's a lot of uh, scat. Um, don't know if you know what scat is, but... When they're singing and they're not necessarily saying the words, more of a ba ba da 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 ba ba ba. That's a scat. Um, the last few nights I have listened to Queen, uh, Disturbed. Um, do you remember I've listened to so much music? Music on my phone, which is a big variety and big genre of music, and hey. That's what I do when I'm Okay, I'm doing as much as I can, you know, before I have to stop and go paint. Um, the grill is done. Oh, that's a nice grill. The lights are in it. The lenses, not the lights. Uh, the screen is in behind it. Stacks. Man, they look pretty good. They look like guns. Put them on the top of a tank. <laughs> You know. <laughs> hey, wait, maybe I could put them on one of my tanks. Oh, no, I'm not putting them on there. Anyhow, I don't even know what's next. What's next? I got all those done. I put the screws in these, the steps, so that they're ready. Yeah, see here, it's time to assemble everything. That's the back of it. Um, they get screwed in. Clipped in and screwed in. Yeah, we're at the seats. There's the cab. The antenna. That's cute. I like the antenna. Yeah, it comes with that too. Um, now I'm skipping ahead because that's the end of it. And here's all the parts list. So if you're unsure of, of, I mean, everything is labeled, but everything is here. If you do need to order something, it's here. Right, so you can get 
There's, you can get all this stuff at your local hobby shop or online, wherever you decide you want to order it from. Um, there's your parts list. You know, it tells you tells you everything and all your parts and everything you need. We got a stuck page here. Oh no! Almost got it. Almost got it. I'm gonna show you a little bit like that. There we go. Yeah. So parts, the tools that come with it, all the parts. I wish I could speak this language. I would tell you what it is. Says um, it pretty much says. I know. I mean, we all know what it says. It's all the safety stuff, you know, just be careful driving it. Make sure you turn on your remote before you turn on the truck. Um, watch the antenna, you know, pay attention in traffic. Um, be aware of your batteries, you know, take care of your batteries. Right. Uh, more parts. And, yeah, parts list. More parts, and then this is all in Chinese or Japanese. No, it's Chinese, because Japanese is up and down. Um, so if you are Chinese, you could read all this, which I'm pretty sure. All of this is the same as this. Anyway, there it is. Right now, I just got it inside my, my shop. I'll pull it out. Here's the seats. I just put some primer on them. Um, I have to go get some other primer for the cab. Now, there's going to be a surprise for this truck. You know, you're going to see... This is... You're going to see um, my paint color and all that. Primer. But... Fun build. Fun, fun build. I, I really had a good time. Um, yeah, so it's got a three-speed transmission, as I said. It's a three-speed. My remote is a three-channel, so the third channel, it only shifts it from high gear to low gear, uh, which is perfectly fine, like I said. So, here it is. This is the last video of the build series because um, I'm not going to show you the paint yet. I'm going to do my paint scheme and so on and so forth. And then I'll unveil it um, over social media so you all can see it. I will do a video of it on, um, on YouTube and some other social media sites that I'm on. And you'll get to see the finished product. And there's a little surprise, but I'll show you that in the in the last video. But as of right now, this is the last video of the build series. Um, pretty easy build overall. I mean, if you if you can build RC trucks and all that, like you know the trail trucks behind me, you know you can you can build those and work on them and put them all together. You can build these. Um, the instructions are pretty easy. Certain spots you have to pay attention to. Um, other than that, it's you know, it's an intermediate build, I guess. Uh, it wasn't overly hard. It was fun. It was tedious. But it wasn't overly hard. Like not like oh, I have to give up. I got to walk away from it. I I can't do it. It's not like that at all. It's just tedious and. I think I built it over four nights, you know, a couple hours a night kind of deal. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you, you know, if you want something fun and tedious, go for it. Uh, it, it is a fun build. Um, something different. This is why I got semi-trucks. Something different than what I have. There's the cab right behind me, if you can see it sitting up there. It's waiting for the paint to come. Um, that's it. 
So yeah, y'all know me, Reno Boys RC. I'm out.